Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi Cancer, here's the situation. We have the Six of Swords, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords and the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. So, um, the first thing I heard in my head when I saw the spread was the phrase, what have I done? And it could be you saying that phrase or it could be your ex who left you for this other person. They could be saying, what have I done? Um, so we have the devil here, this is most likely that person you're dealing with, could be a Capricorn, but most likely this is somebody who is very clever, this person is a manipulator. So they dangle this carrot in front of you or your ex that we see in the Ace of Pentacles, a very, very tempting offer. The Ace of Pentacles is usually a golden opportunity card and uh, whoever they dangled it in front of, you or your ex, fell for it. Perhaps it sounded really good, too good to be true, and unfortunately it did turn out to be too good to be true. And with the Nine of Swords right there, the person who fell for it is saying, what have I done? I cannot really interpret this spread in any other way. So the Six of Swords, the first card on the left, this is either you or um, your ex falling for this trap. And uh, they're moving towards this Ace of Pentacles, which turned out to be a false Ace of Pentacles, false promises. Right, so yeah, that's what we have so far. Um, and this is the situation either you're in or your ex is in. They're really stressed out, they don't know what to do, they realize that they uh, were lied to, it really was too good to be true, and those were just empty promises. That's, that's all there is to it. All right, so that's what we have so far. Here's the advice for you, Cancer. We have Temperance, we have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords, and we have Justice. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Libra. So this is a very straightforward um, spread, especially in terms of the advice. So the advice here is for you to heal with the Temperance card. Just uh, take some time off, take a break, do what you need to do, talk to your friends, people close to you, let them help you heal the situation, but mostly, most importantly, is learn your lesson. And it doesn't really matter how it actually all went down. If somebody left you or if you fell for someone's trap and it turned out to be nothing, it turned out to be empty promises. Just your, learn your lesson and with the temperance card, heal yourself and uh, move on. The Nine of Pentacles right there, this is a single person card. This is most likely you. Cancer, if uh, somebody left you, just you'll be good, you'll be fine. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of somebody who is better off by themselves or this is a card of somebody who projects self-confidence. Uh, you could be independent, self-sufficient, you, know, you could be admired by many. So you're still good, you're still okay. Don't worry about it, don't worry about your... Um, don't worry about what other people are saying, right? So you'll still be fine. As long as you learn your lesson, as long as you uh, heal yourself and move on with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords in this spread is all about you moving on. This uh, rough patch will be over. It will be over soon. And then we have Justice. Um, the justice is actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and Justice came out. So. The justice will be served. Karma will either get to that person who did it to you, you know, or you will um, set the record straight at some point. But as many people say, the best revenge on somebody is to be happy. Don't let this person break you. Don't let this person change your self-awareness and uh, just love yourself first. Karma will get to them. Trust me. It, karma always comes around. It is a boomerang. 
And karma comes in uh, different uh, ways. It doesn't have to be a punishment. Karma could be good. But in this particular case, whoever did this to you, the karma will uh, be uh, severe for them. I'm sure of that. So justice will be served. Don't worry about it. Heal yourself. You're still good. You're still amazing. And move on. Well, Cancer, let's see if there's anybody new coming towards you in October. Hopefully better suited for you than your ex. We have the 401s, we have the Page of Swords, we have the 701s clarified by the Ace of Cups, and we have the 7 of Pentacles clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. You could be dealing with pretty much anybody, but there will be a new love offer coming towards you with the Ace of Cups, but uh, you're not going to be welcoming it with uh, your open arms. Most likely because you're still hurting from what happened to you in the past uh, between that person and you. But yeah, this person have has good intentions. With the 401s, the first card on the left, this is a card of a very stable and abundant relationship, so that's what that person's intentions. However, I think that is you in the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords often represents somebody who is spying on the other person, but in this case, I think this is you. You're just standing your ground, and you've got your little sword out, and uh, you're just kind of defensive. You don't let this person close to you, thinking that uh, this person is uh, kind of similar to your toxic X and that is also you in the 701s clarified by the Ace of Cups you're standing your ground uh, this person is presenting you with the Ace of Cups right uh, that means they have uh, really good um, deep emotions for you most likely it is love because the Ace of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love offers but again you are not really uh, open to it with the 701s and uh, Perhaps that's you in the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. You're waiting for a new cycle, you're waiting for the right person, but um, this new person could be that right person and it could start a new cycle between you and this guy or gal, right? Or the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Wheel of Fortune is that poor new person having to wait for you to heal, having to wait for an answer from you, or they're just waiting for something. It's clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, they could be waiting for this new cycle with you. Perhaps they still hope, they still have hope that it could go somewhere. And like I said, um, the Ace of Cups is a good card to have when it comes to new love. It's authentic. So, um, my suggestion is don't let this person um, don't fight them off right away. Just take your time, sleep on it. Perhaps uh, you have healed. If you haven't healed from that previous devastation, then yeah, I can understand that. Then you can tell that person, you know what, I'm still healing, perhaps later. But just let them know that you're not telling them off. It's not just an excuse. You're not lying to them. Let them know that, yeah, I just recently went through it and I need some more time to... Um, recuperate. I need some more time to pull myself back together. And then that person will most likely wait with the Seven of Pentacles, right? And then if they will wait, then it could be the right person for you. <laughs> Alright, Cancer, that's what I have for you. Hopefully it resonates, and other than that, have a great month. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.